Hi, this is Drew at Finale Fireworks. The latest full release of Finale 3D is here, and the main theme is DMX. To take advantage of DMX, you'll need a firing system that supports it, and some DMX-driven special effects equipment. A couple of notes for those who have designed DMX shows in previous versions of Finale 3D. One, in the latest version, you no longer need to subtract one when setting your DMX channel base, and two, for pre-existing shows, you need to adjust your channel bases and do update per show effects from the effects menu before exporting your script. Now let's take a look at the latest version of Finale 3D. We've added a new top level menu with DMX functions and a section for DMX functions in the menu displayed when you right click on a firing position. We've added a brand new dialog for configuring DMX fixture properties that allows you to set firing position types, DMX universe and channel base, as well as DMX fixture type. When desired, the dialog can even auto-assign DMX channel ranges. DMX fixtures are now shown as blue squares or diamonds in the design window to differentiate them from pyro positions. The position right-click menu now auto-filters DMX effects based on fixture type and gives you a single-click option for filtering the effects window to compatible DMX effects. We've added a master-slave hierarchy for DMX fixtures, making it easy to design shows with multiple DMX fixtures listening on the same address. Now an effect can be replicated across a set of fixtures assigned to the same DMX universe and channel base simply by adding an effect to the master fixture. We've also added a pan 180 option to simulate rotated fixtures and mirrored effects. What's more, with just a few clicks, you can swap out DMX fixtures and automatically convert the effects. Finally, we've incorporated more DMX fixtures, including new supplier catalogs for Chauvin and Spark Fabrica DMX effects. Last but not least, We've updated and fleshed out our online documentation, including a new section for DMX with concept overviews and detailed articles on each supported type of DMX fixture. Even though DMX is the main focus of this release, we got in some other great things as well. We added a significant new feature to the addressing dialog, which avoids collisions in single shot racks by rearranging tube assignments. In previous versions of Finale 3D, it wasn't possible to replace a chain without deleting it. Now you can replace chains with chains or any other type of effect and even replace items within chains without the need to start from scratch. It's now easier than ever before to make adjustments on the timeline. You can now drag items without the need to first break them free and you can suppress the snap to functionality by holding the shift key while dragging effects. Selecting items in the script window now brings them into view on the timeline with some cushion on the left or right. We also improved the mode that hides the effect timeline duration bars. They now only appear when mousing over the blip. This significantly reduces the chances of grabbing and moving unintended items accidentally. In the script and effect windows, holding shift now allows you to select multiple items without having to reopen menus. This makes it much easier to select and set filters, add and remove columns, and adjust table layouts. We also improved all the scroll bars in Finale 3D so that clicking in the track area pages up or pages down, or in the case of the timeline, pages left and right, instead of jumping directly to the clicked point. We also optimized the sync with network process to significantly reduce sync time. This is especially beneficial when you have a large inventory or when you are subscribed to multiple supplier catalogs. Finally, We've made it easier to access supplier catalogs with a new menu item that launches a web browser and takes you directly to the supplier catalog settings for your online account. This wraps up the highlights for this release of Finale 3D. Thanks very much for watching. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more videos and hit the subscribe button to keep up with new videos as they come out.